how did the band come about, Mickey? In but it was 83, 1983, and uh, there's there's big days here in, in the village, and lots of bands coming, you know. So uh, we decided to start a band up, you know. But for start of all, a good foundation. There's six uh, six members or more played in an old band beforehand, and it was down at the at that time, you know. So we said we start our own band. Yes. So it's a good foundation and. Like everything else, good foundation is a good start. Yeah. yeah. And Seamus, what was your role in the band? Yeah, my role was secretary of the band. And Michael, what was your role in uh, the band? I was a treasure in the band, yes. And were you still active with the band afterwards when you stepped down? I was, yes. Still like to come down to the old practice, you know. Yes. And um, Mickey, what was your favourite memory from the band or favourite outing? I still say the first day and a whole lot of the members would say the same, you know, go down the street, you know. What yes. was it about that day in particular? It was just to, uh, to have the band, you know, up and running and uh, Ryan get up, got all the members' names and that, you know, so it was the first day, it was a big thing for us, you know. Seamus, what was your favourite memory about the band? First day the band down as well. the street, yeah. And what was it for you that made it just stand out point? Just getting out for the first day. You know, after all the practice. And, and um, James, how do you see the future of the band? I think the band's more than strength to strength. Yeah. Michael, what about you? How do you see the future of the band? Uh, it's going well now, I tell you the truth, and I hope it does back, you know, does its best, you know. Because uh, it's, it's a struggle, like, you know, too, like, you know, all along, but. They're doing well now, yes. And um, do you have any other standout moments from your time in the band? I see, leading um, GA match in Armagh. Was there anything else for you, James, that stood out? Yeah, first day we were down with a new uniform. Yeah, still, still a good yeah, moment. Yeah, it's a big day, yeah. Well, thank you very much, indeed. Okay, sir. Thank you. Well, it originated from Johnny Smith on the May. My pastors started up a band, Johnny he was the teacher. And any young fellows were interested, most of them were in playing football and that. They, they, they all went anyhow, more curiosity some of them. But eventually, between carrying on one thing and another, they eventually learnt the bagpipes anyway. I think we were on the road in a year that time, in about a year. And we had some great days out and we were up in Blaney on Easter and there was enough a crowd dancing behind us going up Blaney Street and Ned McGee and a couple more were collecting money in tin boxes and that's where the money was coming out of to buy the reeds and bits and pieces of the barn needed in the way. So it only was on the road a few years and eventually we went down for reasons I'm not going to tell about. So if there had been no band then in the May or here. So Mickey Kelly and Johnny approached me on the Bamboo Road, the Road Bowls, where I, I was taking part and they stopped to talk to them and they said, would you be interested in starting a band in Blackwater this time, not the May? And I says, well, I would have to, th to think about it because if they want to start, I would never want to see it going down again. And so say if you can give me an, a, enough that it'll stay on the road this time and there'll be no quitting, I say I'll join it. So we took it from there and had a bit of a meeting and ended up with set up a committee and asked all the boys that had been in the way first if they would be interested in paper. And the most of them all come back and Kevin McBride Sr. come back, he was away in England and he came back home and he, he joined it too. So that, that's where the band originated from. Well, I, I had uh, learned in the My Forester's Band, along with John and a few other local boys. But, uh, John kept the on paper but when I was about 15 or so, the band had folded and I lost contact with paper. 
But they started the band here two or three months when they had a few practices. And he kept torturing me and Peter Quinn, come and join the band, come and join the band. <laughs> I got that sick and asked me to come and join a lot at one night. And I said to Johnny Smith, and he said, Johnny, break me at the scale. But anything I had in my head is gone. So I started off learning the scale and got the scale learned and the next tune would have been Faith or Fast. Played the first part of it over a couple of times and it just started all coming back to me again. All the tunes that I learned, 20 odd years, the music all come back to me again, you know. And that's how I come to be in the band. It's through John and Peter Quinn torturing me, they come back. <laughs> and I knew the big task was facing, you know, to start learning again. Philip, is there a moment that stands out from your time in the band? Is there an outing or praise that you particularly remember? I think that first time I appeared down in Blackwater Town Street, it was just a big occasion for anybody associated with the band, too, you know. And my father, he had piped in the old independent pipe band in Blackwater Town way back years ago and he was just delighted to see this new band marching down Blackwater Street. And John, what about for you? Is there anything for you that stands out from your time in the band? I well, well, some great days out and I'd say them two big days in Blackwater, the first one especially, was a day I would probably never forget. Your father was not born that day, Kim. I'd rest him. And it was like a, an honour to be able to put a bond together and walk down Blackwater Street. The bond meant an awful lot of people way back that day in the 80s. It was all, all the big sports days too, and the bond always would have went and played the sports and all that type of thing, you know. Football matches and camogie matches and all that there. But I think of a whole lot now, them two days that we played at the very start down Blackwater Street, the stairs I, I, I wouldn't forget. And how important, John, is it that the pipe band continues? Well, to me, it would be very important to us. The reason why I went back to pipe myself on that grounds that it would never go down, that it always kept going, no matter what. I said, but always somebody to keep it going. And I wouldn't want to see it come down on any account. And fair play to Kevin, he's done that, wears it out. Philip, what about you? How important is it? Uh, I think this band is a community band. It, it's part of the community and it takes part in all the activities in the community. Any parades or sports days or anything they got there, or football, the band or some of the papers at least are asked to attend. And it's all done uh, willingly and no charge involved. So the band is very important to the community as far as I'm concerned. And I hope it all stays like that. Is there anything else that you just want to say about the band? Well, I just want to say that I would like to see it continuing and uh, getting bigger and it'll never um, go down again that the whole thing keeps going. What about you, John? Is there anything you want to say? Well, I would, uh, I'd like to see that there would be a, still a, a lot of support and that you, young children, that their mothers and fathers would try and encourage them to come and, uh, and at least try the pipes and try the drums to try and keep the band. You need youth all the time. And I'd like to see that all their fathers and mothers, that there's children available, that they would 
or at least sign them and let them try it to see would they, would they like it, you know. Everybody doesn't, but you'll get, you'll always get enough out of, out of whatever comes to keep it going, and that's the main thing. That's brilliant, thank you both so very much. All right.